Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying your summer. We're going to have a Dvar Torah for this week's Parashat, Parashat Bahalotcha, and I'm going to combine my two favorite subjects, math and chumash. So in this week's Parashat, we have B'nai Yisrael is in the Midbar, and Hashem commands B'nai Yisrael to bring the Korban Pesach. Rashi points out that this is the one time in the Midbar, in all 40 years, that they bring the Korban Pesach. If you think about it, there were 600,000 families, at least, in B'nai Yisrael at that time. And each family had to bring a Korban Pesach, which is a lot, a lot of Korban Pesach that they had to bring. If you also think about it, at that time, there were only three Kohanim, Aaron and two of his sons. So those three people had to bring all of the Korban Pesachs for all of the people, which is a lot, a lot of work in a little, little bit of time. How much work Aaron and his sons had to do. Also, in the beginning of this week's Parsha, we have the Levium taking place of the firstborns to do the work in the Mishkan. There were 22,000 Levium. Moshe told Aaron that what he had to do in order for the Levium to take the place of the firstborns is he had to pick each Levi up and wave them. And Aaron had to do 22,000 Levium. If you think about what he had to do, there's 12 hours in a day, which means that there's 720 minutes. Aaron had to do 22,000 people in 720 minutes. If you divide that, I'll let you do the work at home. It comes out to a lot, a lot of work in a little bit of time. But you see the message from these two things, the two, the beginning of the parsha with the Korban Pesach, or the end of the, and, the, and Aaron waving the people, how you can do so much work in a little bit of time with some focus. Hope everyone's having a great summer.